How's it feel? Big win. It feels, it feels amazing. Man, we went all out today. That's what we did. We gave 100%, and it just feels good to come in the locker room and know that you gave it your all, you know? And that's what we did today. Well, I have to ask, I mean, how long, how early before the game did you guys know you'd be without AK? How do we do it at, at shoot around? Shoot around, yeah. yeah. Did it kind of put in your mindset to maybe you guys had to do a little bit more tonight without, I mean, he's your leading scorer, but especially with their size. Yeah, yeah, I mean, of course, you know, like AK is a hell of a player, and he rebounds the ball for us, and we knew we had to step up, you know, and and. and Help on a, help on the defensive end and and, and get rebounds and you know missed it. Yeah. Defensively, I mean, Romero Jones had a 27-20 game against GC, eight points, six rebounds tonight. Uh, Zach Lofton, I mean, he scored 19, but most of it was in the 17 in the second half. What was the key defensively for you guys on maybe two of the best players in the WAC? Um, we just like really. We just wanted to play harder and be tougher than those guys, and I think that's what we did. And uh, we gave them a bunch of different looks. Uh, Ko did a great job. I'm often so did Jarrell. I mean, everyone gets a crack at him because the way we play defense. But um, and Jamario, I mean, you saw he's the first player to get like 20 rebounds in three straight games. We just wanted to be tougher, and that's what it came down to. We wanted those rebounds more, and uh, that's. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it was one specific thing, like game plan wise, but we just played hard. Ko, walk us through that locker room. What's the mood like right now? Oh, we're feeling good. You know, we, you know as I said, it's we, we know we went all out. You know, and that it's amazing. It feels amazing when you come back into the locker room and you know things are hurting a little bit because you know you gave it your all. You know, you went, you played as hard as you can, and and that just it feels good. Ko, it's a tight game. And it had been really close basically the entire game. You hit the three, you get another three, and then you get that spinning layup. To, all of a sudden, you had an eight point lead, and that was really the first cushion in the second half. What was that stretch like for you? Uh, I just told Jake, you know, it's when I, I missed my first three, I think, in the half. And, and without these guys, without Jake, I think he's the biggest guy on this team that just keeps me going, you know? He's, I, I don't know how I would play if I didn't have him right now because, man, he just, keeps telling me be aggressive keep shooting even if you miss if, if you miss five in a row keep shooting and that that stuff really gets me going and then it's you know it's we executed well and, and, and that's how we got that's how we made those plays Jake before tonight did it feel like you guys were in a slump losing three of five kind of like characteristic for you and was it important to kind of seize this opportunity to prove to people what team you actually are yeah I think I think I wouldn't say it was a slump but we weren't playing our best basketball and we really wanted to get back to kind of what we do, and that's make plays for each other and play really hard. And I think we were able to do that tonight. Um, we play really well at home. This was a great opportunity to have, you know, a team that hasn't lost in the whack yet in our gym. And we just we thought it was just another opportunity to to go out there and play hard. It didn't matter who it, who it was. We just wanted to, uh, you know go out there and play hard. I think that when we do that, we can beat anyone. It doesn't really matter who you put against us. Our job, Jake, is big picture, more big picture than you guys, but what, what does this win mean for you guys going into the final two and a half weeks of the season? I think it just gives us a lot of you know confidence. Um, that team's good, and, and, and when we play the right way, we can beat any team. And we, we, we got to continue to get better and stay you know playing hard and making plays for each other but I think it just shows us that um, when we play the right way we can win and we got to just go go all out like KO said and uh, the rest will take care of itself I mean we didn't play a perfect game turnovers off of, you know fouls whatever like none of that stuff matters when we play as hard as we can are you sure it wasn't a perfect game I mean you shot almost 60 percent from the field 50 percent from three-point range and 90% from the free throw line. I mean, you only turned the ball over 14 times, and you out re see, you out rebounded them. So well, I'll, I'll I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why those numbers are like that. Because we played so hard. 
that's all that matters. We played, we played just, that's all we wanted to do is just be tough, play hard, and that's what happens. So we gotta, we gotta keep growing, keep getting better, but uh, this, is, this is a good win for us. And we gotta get, get prepared for, for Saturday, and we gotta keep um, fighting. That's what we're gonna do. How big of a factor was it having the home crowd behind you, knowing how close this game was? It was fun, man. Those, everyone in the stands were, I mean, just giving us a ton of energy. Uh, like I said, we play really well at home, and, and we, we love our gym, we love our fans. It, it's amazing to see all the support that we have here at UVU. Um, it, it, it means a lot to us, and uh, we try to go out there and play as hard as we can for everyone else.